Citizen. Lady, that was great. The clapping and but the annoyed face at the same time. <laughs> it's like if I do this noise, he can't see me and how irritated I have become. Because the warm-up comedian has warmed them up too far. Did you? I did a new thing tonight when I came out. I pretended I was surprised that the audience was here. Did you like it? I was like, oh. What do you think? Oh, there you are. Yeah. Oh. What is it? I've done, what, 1,600 of these things? But I walk out, oh, what a surprise. <laughs> Someone said to you, just walk down this way, Mr. Ferguson. Yeah, Nothing to here, see. Just you. come in here. Come in here, Mr. Ferguson. There's a <gasps> surprise. <laughs> and what a surprise it was. More of a disappointment, yeah. I think. Yeah. It? <laughs> it is, however, a great day for America, everybody. Yes, indeed, it is. That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> He's learning Japanese. Anyway, look. They... <laughs> no, it's a great day for America. Well, not all Americans. So it's a tricky. It's a tricky day for uh, General David Petraeus. I'll be honest. Uh, the uh, CIA director has resigned. The FBI caught him uh, having an affair with his biographer, groping civilians on the government dime. General Petraeus. <laughs> You work for the CIA, not the TSA. See what I did? Uh, yeah. See what I did? Yeah. A joke! Uh, a joke! Yeah. Let's do the dance with the... Yes, let's do the dance. All right. This is the dance that we do. Come on, Beth. This is the dance that we do when we do an actual dance. All right. Look, anyway, all I'm saying, the General Petraeus had to resign. Which I think there's a bit of a double standard here. The head of the CIA gets caught having sex, he has to resign. Meanwhile, a British special agent, James Bond, has sex with tons of women and makes 90 million at the box office. Where is the justice there? <laughs> if we have a picture of General Petraeus and his biographer, Paula uh, Broadwell, there they are. Wait, wait, zoom in, zoom in, enlarge like they do. Look, and, and look, look. <laughs> No wonder they hooked up. This show is so bad, you need to have sex to take your mind off it. <laughs> go on, then. Go on. And you're done. Thanks. All right, so... No one knows what General Petraeus will do next. All I know, he's in for a pretty awkward Thanksgiving. It's going to be bad. Uh, can you pass the gravy? Why don't you get your slut to pass the gravy? <laughs> It's almost as if you've been down this kind of road yourself. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Looking back on it, the signs were there, though. I'm not making this up. This is true. Paula Broadwell's biography about Petraeus is entitled All In. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I could come up with anything better. <laughs> what, have we anything better that would have a double entendre for a book title about the general? Uh, uh, embedded. Embedded, all right. <laughs> um... Call of Booty? Yeah, yeah. What about... Uh, so, uh, honorary Discharge? That's not bad. What about... What about... <laughs> what about Weapon of Ass Destruction? Yeah, yeah. One, uh, oh, oh, I got one. Uh, one Gun Salute? Yeah, that's not bad. All right, that's enough. Look, uh... <laughs> Broadwell's uh, editors were surprised when they read the book. They had suspicious suspicions because in between the stories of the general's battlefield heroism and brilliant strategy, she wrote an entire chapter about the shape of his balls. 
shaped like pentagons, apparently. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> The truth is, uh, many people are, try are you know, well, well, women, women, when I say it, many women are attracted to men in power. That's just true. And powerful men are attracted to women who, well, women. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> so to recap, men are pigs, but some of them have cool jobs. <laughs> anyway, uh, General Petraeus spent the weekend cleaning out his office, you know, putting his junk in a box. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, the aides, aides say that uh, General Petraeus is crushed. He sees himself as a failure throughout his career. This is the one thing he never tolerated is failure. Just like me, minus the, you know, don't tolerate failure thing. <laughs> and the courage under fire thing. And the leadership abilities and uh, Pentagon-shaped testicles. Uh, <laughs> my, my, mine are shaped like Florida. <laughs> well, well, one of them is. And it doesn't count. <laughs> uh, yeah. See what I did? Yeah. See what I did? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> anyway, look, I'll tell you one thing, though. I give the general some credit. I mean, at least he manned up and took responsibility. He quit immediately. He didn't try the old, you know, try not to admit it by playing the word games thing. You know, I'm looking at you, Bill Clinton. You know what I mean? Oh, <laughs> uh, well, it depends on what the meaning of the word penis is. <laughs> Italian Bill Clinton. Yeah, I love when you do that. Italian Bill. Have you got the graphic? The graphic. Get the Italian graphic. I don't know speak your language. I don't know what I don't know. German Bill Clinton, quickly. Oh, uh, hey, uh, why don't you get your slut to pass the gravy? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Liam Neeson Bill Clinton, quickly, quickly. Quickly. There's no time. Touch my penis, quickly. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not surprised that the general had an affair with the biographer. Something so int there's int intimacy, you know. If you're someone's biographer, you're tracing the arc of someone's life, and you're looking at them, they get very close, and it, you know this usually happens. It usually leads to sex. It, it did with my biographer. <laughs> Wait a minute, Craig, you wrote an autobiography? Yes, I did. <laughs> yes, I did. And as I was writing, I truly was an army of one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thanks, man. So, uh, what do you think? Are you scandalized by Petraeus? No, hell no, man. I don't care about that. Nah, I don't care either, man. <laughs> you scandalized? No? Don't care? <laughs> I think uh, Secretary's learning Japanese. He's... <laughs> Uh, yes, let's get out of here quick. <laughs> You're watching The Late Late Show. Boy, don't you regret not getting cable. <laughs>